Amit Dilea, I'm an artist, a designer, and an educator. I'm very interested in the way that we see the world, and often what we fail to perceive as well. There are many different layers to how we think about our own lives, but also think about the lives of others, think about our planet. I think everyone is deeply aware that we're at a point where there is a climate emergency, where the threats to biodiversity are growing, and the models of prosperity that we have are not always in harmony with people, planet, and nature. What I try to do in the way I educate my students and the way that I portray the subjects that I cover in my own personal practice as an artist are to really address those issues, to really look at the way people do perceive the world and enable them to look beneath the surface at all the different layers that can be seen if only you look hard enough. I became interested in the way that the lens, the lens of the camera, but more importantly, the way we view the images that come into our eye can often be deceived. We can often look at those things that lie just on the surface. And I found through photography, I could actually open people's views to looking at the world in quite different ways. There is so much that lies inside our field of vision that we fail to see because of the way we've been conditioned to look at the world. And I think the role of the artist is to help people see the world differently. It's about what we see and being able to share that. This work's called Reflections on Entropy, and it's a photograph from the Palazzo Fortuny in Venice. You know, here I'm standing just above the canal, and I was captivated by the reflections on the surface and the crumbling masonry that lay around it. And as I looked at it, I, I saw something that frankly looked more like a painting and felt it somehow captured that moment, the fragility, uh, that fossilizing of time that a camera has the capacity to do and to capture that instant and also something about the kind of melancholy of the moment. This image is actually again is one of my favorites. It kind of illustrates so many different things. I'm just kind of looking down into a pond. But what intrigued me here was um, all the things that were growing out of the pond above the surface. The, the effect of the wind that lay upon the surface of the water, the um, growth and greenery that lay beneath the surface of it. Um, some leaves were kind of brushed across that day. It was uh, an autumn day and you can start to see that the, the way the wind is blowing and the leaves are just literally rippling on the surface. And then a whole set of leaves. But it comes across in kind of quite a painterly way. There's a kind of sense of decay and renewal in the image as well. The, the leaves from autumn, some of the fresh growth that is merging beneath the surface. All of this time and turbulence and change that's happening that is part of the cycle of life. This image is looking actually uh, at a scene again in Somerset, but in Bath in Prior Park. And it's the changing leaves on the trees reflected again in the water, almost like a kind of pastel drawing. With a very, very crisp surface down here of the grass that's growing adjacent to the water's edge. I, I should stress, and not, none of these images are manipulated in any way, they're just the way that I saw them at that moment in time, and captured them through the lens and the camera, and what you see is literally what you get. It's about authenticity and truth, and it's about saying, look, with this so much manipulation that is taking place in the world right now, on all kinds of news feeds, of all kinds of images, what can we rely on as truth? Do we need to manipulate because we think it will make it more convincing? But actually, we make it less convincing. The whole provenance of these lies in the fact that they are exactly what came into the camera through its lens. You can see just so much from an amazing world that we're part of. We don't need to go out and manipulate it. And similarly, the way the world is being manipulated with information is something that I'm trying to somehow bring that point across in my work too.